if your salvation depends on your will causes also depend on your will blessings also depend on your will prosperity depends on your will poverty depends on your will whether you are aware or not is a different thing altogether hi you're welcome to believers global tv on this channel we create christian content that will help in your spiritual growth this is a place that you get the undiluted word of god and this is a place that we get to build your spiritual life your prayer life you get to understand the word of god more and even deeper i was teaching somewhere before coming into ghana and one of the things i taught them is that god gave man an ability that no other creature of his has and that ability is the power to use your will to redefine your destiny this privilege to use your will consciously intelligently and redefine your destiny is an ability and a privilege that God gave only man now pay attention because not every one of God's creature is called man there is a condition for God's creature to be called man I taught them that number one for you to be called man you must be a spirit if you are not a spirit you cannot be called man number two that spirit must be domiciled in a body if that spirit is not in a body a body that was framed using the materials of earth you cannot be called man number three that spirit must be connected to the solical faculties of will emotion and intellect until these tripartite factors coexist within the same entity you cannot call that entity man hmm. are we together so it's a privilege and an honor to be called man not just a creature man the heaven of heaven belongs to the lord but the earth hath he given not to all of his creature the children of men are we together the dominion mandate was not given to all of God's creature. It was given to man. So the Bible says, what is man that thou art mindful of? Not the son of man that thou visitest him. The entire economy of the spirit revolves around this entity called man. In fact, the Bible puts it this way, that the earnest expectation of creation awaits the manifestation of the sons of God. Not the creatures of God, the sons of God. No matter how healthy other creatures are, if man does not rise to his potential, God's program cannot happen. Man. Are we learning already? So there's God gave man a will. And listen carefully. With that will, he gave you the ability, even at the detriment of your eternal destiny, to make choices that goes against his will, and he will respect it. This is profound. I don't know if I would have been able to take that kind of risk if I were God. I would not build a creature that has not been tested and give that creature such profound privilege that the creature has the power to even fight its creator and the creator will respect it. Are we together? We build cars, we build apps, but we make sure those apps are obedient. There is usually something that compels obedience you can shut it down you can tame animals you can tame every other thing but God gave man will the will listen carefully that you can use that will and look the God of creation and say I make my choice to reject you and he will respect you as powerful as God is as mighty as God is as unlimited as God is he has bound himself to respect the will of man that means when God speaks it does not come to pass until man says amen listen to me and the amen there is not what you say at the end of your prayer my definition of amen is every participation to demonstrate to God that you have connected your will to his desire 
so God can say I desire to lift you but are you interested you can choose and say I am not interested and he will respect you even at the expense of your pain listen do you know the Bible says from the foundations of the earth the lamb was slain Jesus came and died the price for sin destruction is already paid but ladies and gentlemen how many of you know that there are still people going to hell today in spite of the finished work of Christ that will is that powerful that men can look the king of glory in spite of his substitutionary sacrifice and they can choose I make up my mind to reject you and he will respect it I'm saying this to you because most believers do not know that destiny actualization is not just a function of God's will or God's power alone there is a major component to your becoming your rising that most men have ignored is called the power to choose the power to choose your life up until now is a summation of your choices whether they are choices that were made intelligently and intentionally or choices that were products of neglect you will be learning shortly if you truly desire an upgrade in your life then you must understand the power of decisions because everything in the realm of the spirit including demons including causes including yokes they depend on this factor to work If your salvation depends on your will, causes also depend on your will. Blessings also depend on your will. Prosperity depends on your will. Poverty depends on your will. Whether you are aware or not is a different thing altogether. That means there is a way you can choose that even if poverty comes, it cannot work because your will fights it. There is a way you can choose that prayerlessness, the spirits that kill the prayer life of people when it comes you don't have to drive it your will becomes a defense it it renders it impotent the will of man are we learning now the difference between any two people in the kingdom is not god's desire for the same lord is rich unto all the bible says the difference between a champion and a mediocre the difference between an anointed person and an unserious Christian, the difference between a trailblazer and a mediocre is not the power of God necessarily, it's not even the desire of God for them. It is that one person, either through mentorship or by the mercy of God, has learned among many other factors the power of decisions and has used his will to redefine the possibilities of his destiny whereas another person is waiting for chance superstition and all kinds of things satan dreads men who understand the power that has been given to them the ability to choose if you're with me say amen Your decisions, I wrote here, beyond your conditions, decide the quality of your life. Your decisions, more than your conditions, decide the quality of your life. It's important you understand this. Your decisions, more than your conditions, your condition is as temporal as the strength of your decisions. Because if you have the power to choose, then you have the power to change. Did you hear what I said? If you have the power to choose, you have the power to change. Every condition remains permanent, as permanent as your indecision. If you have the power to choose, you have the power to change. Amazing how an unbeliever with one use of this will can become a believer immediately by agreeing to receive Jesus. Isn't it amazing? One lazy, careless, unserious person can make a decision and get into a bookstore and by the power of that choice, in one month, that person's destiny can change. 
one person can choose to pursue the anointing with humility another person can remain in pride and their possibilities can be east and west your destiny is at the mercy of this mystery God gave you the power to choose you will be amazed at how many great things have knocked at the door of your destiny but you rejected them not knowing you rejected them the Bible says as many as received him that means you can reject him as many as received it says ye shall receive power that means you can reject power the Bible says buy the truth and sell it not your decisions more than your conditions decide the quality of your life now look at me please decisions do not carry the same weight in the spirit there are certain decisions called destiny defining decisions for instance i can choose to wear what i'm wearing now i would have chosen to wear black it doesn't necessarily affect my destiny that much it's not a destiny defining decision but there are certain decisions that carry so much weight that you may not even have a chance to make another corrective decision again all decisions do not weigh the same in the spirit all decisions do not weigh the same in destiny are we together now decisions decide destiny now let me tell you something else about decisions let me your attention every decision has a consequence connected to it you are not given the liberty to choose consequences you cannot choose consequences the consequences are automatically connected to the decision are we together now what god gives you the power to do is to make the choices but once you have made the choices you are also prepared to receive the consequences that come with the choices are we together so if I decide for instance do you know that as anointed as God has helped me to be I actually can end my life in the next 10 minutes that is how powerful the will is I literally with all the angels protecting me I can choose that I want to end my life in 10 minutes and God in heaven the giver of life will respect that choice and in exactly 10 minutes i will be dead that is how powerful it is the power to choose to choose a great tomorrow or the power to choose a worse tomorrow resides within every one of you who is looking at me right now the difference between you and everybody you admire is the strength of their decisions over time and the consequences that have come to honor that decision let me take it again the difference between you and anyone at all you have ever admired is not necessarily the grace of God it's not necessarily the love of God for the same Lord is rich unto all that call upon him it is that they by grace have understood this gift God gave man and have utilized it effectively and what you call results are the consequences connected to the decisions they have made to walk in integrity is a choice to be crooked is a choice to be perverse is a choice to walk in righteousness is a choice to be responsible is a choice to be careless is a choice to be prayerless is a choice to be prayerful is a choice to be anointed is a choice to be mediocre in the spirit is a choice to be a great man of god is a choice to be one who does not bring much glory is a choice to fail in life is a choice to succeed is a choice to be a champion is a choice to be a great prophet is a choice to be a mighty battle axe is a choice to be wealthy is a choice to be poor and beggarly is a choice can I continue to cut short your life is a choice a choice that many people do not know how to make and to live long is a choice to stay healthy is a choice 
to be sick until you die is a choice to give in to causes and yokes is a choice to stand in the victory that Christ has wrought for you is a choice to be in this program this night was a choice where were all the demons when you were coming here that is how powerful your will is that in spite of Satan's desire he could not stop you nor the car so why will your destiny if you left home and nothing stopped you from getting here why do you think you cannot get to the place of destiny are you learning now it's a choice you had a right to do something else with your time it's called your time and you decided to invest it in your destiny it's a choice it's a choice the man of God had a right to stop this program from happening this year it was not just God's will it was also a choice are we together now my traveling to come here was a choice and there are consequences your transformation is part of the consequences of that decision your healing is part of the consequences of that decision listen let me tell you this if you don't understand my message many years after now you will look back and you will hate yourself because you will see that you cheated your destiny and allowed things to just happen like that thank you for watching this video to the end Please subscribe, like, and share this message with others. And God bless you. See you in our next video. Bye.